Well, I can tell you one thing. These are not made to run continuously. This one still runs, just not very well. And the reason for that is we've all been using the wrong fans when we build these waste oil heaters. I found something. This is a computer fan, squirrel cage blower, dual ball bearing. I don't know if this is gonna work yet or not. We're gonna find out. I read the online comments. According to those, it does put out enough air to blow up those inflatable Christmas Halloween decoration things, some of the smaller ones. That should be enough air to make a fire burn. 12 volts, uh, so I can put it to a variable speed resistor if I have to, or I can run it on six volts if I want less speed. Also, my plan is to maybe just let some of the air escape. This should be a lot quieter, and man, that's free spinning. Let's get a 12 volt power source and see what it does. Uh, positive, negative, yep. Puts out a fair amount of air. A little bit of a test with some kerosene in the heater. Fan's off right there. Fan on. I believe that'll work. And it's much quieter than that other fan. And it's made to run all the time. Now we're going to get the air from here to there. A little electrical conduit that hasn't been split yet. And we have to hook that to there. We're going to make a really fancy connector for that one day, probably with the 3D printer. But for now, it's the handyman's friend, duct tape. Let's fire this thing up for another test. Hey, buddy. Trying to stay warm? It's not that cold out there. All right. One, two open. Let her warm up a while and see what happens. The fan does not quite have the velocity that the other fan did. As you can see, the oil is just dripping off the end of that right there, but it is splattering it up against there, but not as good as the other fan did. But I think that'll be enough. The oil in the air will hit that metal plate. It'll warm it up a little bit. It is already burning fairly clean at the chimney. It's only been burning about three minutes. And we're gonna have to work on that power supply. Well, here's what it looks like. It's been burning about 20, maybe 25 minutes. All right, been cruising along, close to 30 minutes now. The fan definitely likes the battery charger hooked up to it, gives it that little bit extra. What do we got here for temperatures? That's what we got down at the burner top of the top of the uh, what do you call this top of the top of the heater top of the first barrel top of the second barrel now let's go around to the other side top of the top barrel about 180 chimney coming out 120 110, 112, 
117, 118. And with chimney temperatures like that, you really don't get a whole lot of draft, a whole lot of draw or pull on your stove. But these two barrels do collect a lot of the heat out of the oil that you're burning. This fan compared to this fan. This fan does put out a lot more air, a lot more pressure through the burner. So if you need a good blast of air, you may not be able to use this fan. It does put out enough for my needs. I'm gonna run it at about 14 volts. This fan has ball bearings, made to run forever. It is half as loud as this fan. You don't have to put it inside of a box or anything like that. Works for my purposes. Don't know for sure if it'll work for yours. There's been some comments about uh, what I could do to get rid of the fan, the reasons that I need a fan, stuff like that. I need to put my gloves back on. This stuff's dirty. Anyway, I've done a lot of experimentation with this thing. One of the first things I did was made this little drip tray. I haven't even cleaned that out. That's made out of a piece of copper tubing. And it just sat right about here. Drip tube was here, drip down in it. And that helped quite a bit, especially on startup with it burning clean. Oil just drips down in here. This thing gets hot and immediately starts burning. This thing is capable while it's burning of getting this tube right here, at least half of it glowing. So it does get pretty dang hot down in here. But one of the reasons why it doesn't get any hotter is I made this to burn low quantities of oil. So I'm burning very low quantities of oil. You can check a link up here to my last video where I tested how much it burned. One of the other tests I did, and this one seems to work pretty well also, is this little tray right here. This tray angles downhill. It sits right about here. Same thing, drip tube drips oil down on it. The air swirls this way around. What I found with that though is that the air seemed to move across it and cool it right away. So the next little thing I tried is raising the oil tube up inside the air tube so it wasn't laying on the bottom edge. It's actually up in the middle now so the air hits it and splatters the oil around. That kind of ended up splattering oil all over the inside of this thing. So I made this little diffuser that goes over the end of the oil tube. I set that on the oil tube setting this way so it blows the, more of the air this way around. That lets this get hotter, seems to help, burns about as well as it's always done. But the biggest reason that I have to have a fan on this is to get turbulence down in here because I can't pull enough air through here fast enough with the chimney setup I have. My chimney setup runs through a 55 gallon drum here, runs through another 55 gallon drum here. By the time that heated air out of there comes into here. I see temperatures of about 130 degrees at the top of this barrel. The most I see up there at that joint is about 110. So with 110 degree air in the chimney, it's not really creating that high speed forced air effect that I'd get if my chimney was running straight off the top of that and I had 300 degree air going into my chimney. So without that air speed going through there, even when I had all this cut open on the bottom, I could not get the air speed I needed to create the turbulence I needed. So with the little bit of airflow I get from the fan, swirling it, I get completely clean air out of the chimney. I mean, you can hardly tell the thing's burning when you look out at the chimney when it's burning right. So that's the experiments I've done so far. I think I'm probably done experimenting. I think this one's gonna be the one I use. It's made out of steel, it should last a long time. And it's easy to make, a little thin piece of steel. All right, nothing to do now but stay warm. And of course, maybe do a little work on that wiring back there. I don't think that's quite up to code. Got to find a power supply, something around 14 volts or so. 
and that should do it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share.